You say guacamole. I say guacamole. Dario says guac. Whatever you do call it, today I'm going to share with you a fresh homemade guacamole recipe. Okay, first of all, let's get into avocados. An avocado, anytime you're gonna make a guacamole recipe, you've gotta plan it ahead. An avocado is one of those fruits that you've gotta plan a date with. Aww. In the first four months, they grow to this side. Then for the next eight months, they stay on the tree. That's when the oils go in there. So if you picked it off after four months, there'd be no oils, it would be dry. You'd have it and you'd be like, oh, what the heck is this? And when you go to the store, look for one that's darker in color. Remember, they start from here down ripening. You know when it's fully ripe, when it's soft at the bottom. So don't start poking at the top. First thing we're going to do, put it on the countertop. You'll see some people do it in the hand. What I always try to teach you at home is don't do that because when we're making guacamole, we don't want to cut our hand, there's nothing worse. So I'm gonna come in to the side. Can you see this coming around it? You know there's a big seed in there. I'm just coming around. So that's one of the safest ways. And then we know it's gonna be in half. Give it a little twist. Now with the seed, we just want to use the end of the knife. Just using the end of the knife, twist it and twist it off. See how I've twisted that? And then you can just use the side of your board to push it. Now, when you're doing that, you're not a samurai. You don't have to like, hi Okay, I'm gonna show you it again. Come in, can you see that one coming in? Twist it, put your hand on the top, just coming around it, twist it open like that. Then with this piece, look, in, twist, on the side of the board or in a bowl. I see a lot of people and what they do is, they'll start doing this with the knife, you know, doing this thing. Don't do that, please don't do that. That's foolish, you, you're gonna end up, you might cut your hand, if you've got a sharp knife, you might go through, just get a spoon, you know, the skin's quite thick. Grab a spoon and just come, just come underneath the avocado. See, just scoop it out. I'll grab a bowl, just scoop it out into the bowl. Cause we don't, we want to have the avocado chunky just like when you watch my youtube videos you like you like it because i'm chunky had it been like david beckham it wouldn't be quite the same and to be honest with you if you had a better body like david beckham i wouldn't be cooking in here <laughs> remember that avocados they don't have salt so you need to add salt to it avocados just need salt they don't have acidity neither so we need to add acidity to it normally as we know in mexico they don't really use lemons they use limes so when we buy a lime we always want it bright and green so you don't really want one much yellow you want it nice and green so i'm going to cut the lime in half and you can see he's nice he's, he's not an old lime so just a small amount don't get too excited for three limes uh, sorry for three avocados i use about one tablespoon of juice and i know what you're thinking oh john that'll go brown don't worry about it. Just try it. You'll see. You want to be able to taste the richness of that avocado. Let the fruit be the fruit. Mash the avocado using your masher. Now look, a couple of passes with this avocado and you've got yourself there, right there. That's how quick it is. Do it chunky. Tomato, nice and ripe. I'm just gonna use the sides of the tomato. Now I'll save this for making tomato sauce or I'll blend it up for something else. I don't want a lot of water content. My golden rule with avocado, with, when I'm making a guacamole recipe would be, I want a third of a cup of tomato to every three avocados. I'm not making a tomato soup. I'm not making a tomato salsa, I'm making a guacamole recipe. I'm going to place the tomato on there. Let's get my bench scraper. Try to be a little bit professional on this show. 
The tomato is going to go in there. Next thing we're going to do is add some jalapeno. Now, depending on how you, how much you like jalapeno, how much heat, because jalapenos can vary. So if you don't like it too hot, just cut the seeds out. So just coming along, just take that. All the heat is in those ribs. You know them ribs there? You eat that thing, it's like, ole, 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 ole. Are you feeling hot, hot, hot? I'm gonna take some jalapeno, and we're just gonna dice it. Remember, we don't wanna burn someone. We want someone to enjoy the fruitiness, the grassiness of this recipe, the jalapeno. If you want, you could use serrano chili if you wanted. You could use a, a habanero chili. You could roast the chili. Have as little or as much as you want. White onion in Mexico, they always use white onion. Just gonna dice the onion so you can see. Just coming down the knife. And I'm doing this relatively small. I'm coming down the onion. And the reason why I do that is I don't want a big piece of onion in your palate. There's nothing worse than when you have, uh, someone's made a guacamole recipe and the, that you, you have it and then it's the, the onion's so strong and you're there. And I want us to have an agreement here today. Let me just grab my thing. The one thing you do need to do is wash these in some cold water. Remember all that sulfur in there? And what that can do is give you a little bit of indigestion, make you a little bit belchy, and make it unpleasant. So a little bit of cold water. Onion, tomato, jalapeno. We just need cilantro. Just coming down the cilantro and chopping it. With cilantro, you always want to add it to the guacamole just before serving it. Guacamole likes to be chopped towards the end, otherwise it goes brown. You know, there's nothing worse than having that. You want that fresh brightness. Now, not too much cilantro. You just want enough to be able to get that flavor. So let's take a look, as we look in the bowl, at the ingredients. Fold this around, and this is a guac that I really love to make. It's knocked up in no time. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. If you wanna take this guacamole recipe to the place, what, where are you? You wanna hit it out the park? This is the way to do it, watch this. Were you watching this? Take some bacon. Some beautiful lard on some bacon, cooked until the crisp, smoked bacon. Get some Parmesan cheese. Place the Parmesan cheese in there. Yes, I'm gonna say it to you. I'm gonna say these words. Parmesan bacon guacamole. Mrs. Spielberg got me this. She said, John, you've got to start presenting your food. You need to be more Instagrammable. <laughs> I can't do that. I just want to make a recipe. Maybe you make the recipes and then you can be Instagrammable. Uh, I just want to teach you how to cook. And then once I've taught you how to cook, then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> a little bit more of the Parmesan on top. And a few more of those lardons of bacon, because that just reminds people that they've got something ever so special. My friends, that is quite possibly, and actually, I know, it's the best guacamole, guacamole? It's the best guacamole recipe you're gonna see on YouTube. Come in and give it a kiss. Look at that. I've gotta say this, they make me say it. If you love the segment today, or the show, or whatever you call this thing, please subscribe. If you really loved it, please share. Until next time, I'm John Ashton. We've got tons of recipes and loads of descriptions below. Remember, laugh at least twice a day. Enjoy your life. It's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. And remember, positivity feels much better than negativity, because when you feel negative, you don't feel good. See you next time. Say cheerio, Daniel. Cheerio.